Good morning. Welcome to Gentle Yoga. We're going to begin in Sukhasana, sitting up nice and tall, relaxing your hands onto your knees. Relax the shoulders and sway side to side until you come to center. And then close your eyes. Begin to notice your breathing, the rise and fall of your chest. Begin to soften all the muscles in your face. Let's do a few rounds of breathing exercise. Pranayama. Inhale through your nose. Holding at the top. And exhale out through the mouth. Softening those shoulders. Inhale through the nose. Holding at the top. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, expanding the chest and the belly, resting at the top. And exhale, completely soften the body as you let it go. Inhale, think of something you are grateful for. Holding at the top. And then exhale out through the mouth. Releasing stress, tension. And then we turn to your natural breath. With your eyes closed, go ahead and drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And just stretch the left side of the neck. As you keep your, your face nice and relaxed. Coming back to center and right to the other side. Left ear to left shoulder. Stretching the right side of the neck. And slowly coming back to center. Pick a direction you like and make some circles in your neck down to the chest, to the side, maybe looking up at the ceiling. And just make a few circles like this. And then reverse direction. So chin to the side and up towards the ceiling. Making some nice gentle Circles. And then coming back to center with your eyes closed. Bring your right hand on your chest, left hand on top. Let's take a moment to honor the heart center and everything it does for us. We can also set an intention here. Great, let's go ahead and open our eyes. Gonna come right on to our hands and knees. Take your time. Once you get there, let's go right into a child's pose. So untuck your toes, big toes together, separate the knees, and sit back onto your heels. Relax the arms down, have them extended out in front of you, and then rest your forehead down to the mat. Take a couple long deep breaths here. And then lifting your head and keeping your buttocks right where they are, extend your arms as far as you can, lifting the elbows. Stretch it out, pressing down on all fingers. Have them nice and spread apart. Rest your forehead down to the mat. and breathe. And then 
gonna start to walk our hands over to the left, keeping the buttocks right where they are, and stretch the right side of the body. Coming back to center, let's make our way to the other side. Stretching the opposite side of the body. Yoga is always about balance. You stretch one side, you can stretch the other to balance you out. And we'll come back to center. In extended child's pose, press down on all those fingers. Inhale, come back onto hands and knees, dropping the belly, look forward, the cow. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest, and shift back into a child's pose. Inhale, come forward, make your way into cow, lifting the tailbone, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest, right into a child's pose. Inhale, back to table, right into cow, Inhaling deeply here. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest, the cat, and then child's pose. Inhale, come forward, make your way into cow. Exhale, round into cat, and right into child's pose. Do two more just like that. Inhale, coming forward, looking forward. Exhale, round, and child's pose. One more. Inhale, come forward. Cow position. Exhale, round, into cat position. Down into child's pose. We'll come right back onto hands and knees. Bring your knees so they're directly underneath your hips. And then your hands underneath your shoulders. So go ahead, come high on your fingers. Be sure you have a block and a strap for this class. Bring that right foot forward. Step it up to your right hand. I'm going to go into a low lunge. If you do not have a block, you can always use your leg. I'll show you. Lift your back knee and walk it back a little bit so you can go into your version of a stretch, into your low lunge. You may go really far back. You may not be this far back. It's up to you. Or it's up to your body, really. All right, so we're in our low lunge. If you have your block, go ahead and grab it. And on the high end, you want to put it on the inside of the front foot. Take your left hand onto that block. If you do not have the block, then you can just simply put your hand onto your right thigh. And then the right hand is going to go onto your sacrum, and you're going to twist to the right. So if you have your hand on the thigh, you're twisting to the right. Otherwise, you have your hand on the block, and you're twisting to the right. And try to encourage that right shoulder back, and then do the best you can to look as far back as you can and hold. Coming back to center. Let's do that one more time. Take a nice big inhale and then exhale, twist. Use your right hand to push into the sacrum as you twist to the right and roll that right shoulder back and then look to the right as far as you can and hold. Coming back to center. Release the right arm down towards the floor. So again, you can have your hand on the thigh or on the block, does not matter. The right hand's down to the floor. We're going to extend it right up in front of us, right up to the ceiling, and then rotate it back behind you as far as you can. Be cautious of your shoulders and hold. Release it down to the floor. And again, forward, up and back. Big rotation in the shoulder and hold. And then look over your right shoulder. Hold. Exhale, release. Inhale, again, reaching forward, then reaching up to the ceiling, and then reaching behind you and hold. Encourage that right shoulder back. 
release back down, bringing your fingers back down to the floor with your back toes tucked. Go ahead and lift that left knee a little bit. So you're into a, a sort of higher version of a lunge. Big stretch all the way in the front of the back leg, back at the front leg. And then release that knee down. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I like to take both of my hands to the left, lift my right foot, and bring it back to meet the other. So let's prepare for the other side. Bringing that left foot up. You have the block on the inside of that foot. You're going to go into your version of a lunge. Walking that back knee back if you need to. And finding your version. As long as you feel a stretch, that's what matters the most. And then from here, take your right hand on, in, on the block or your thigh. Okay, so here we go. Left hand onto your sacrum, roll that left shoulder back as you twist to the left. And then take your eyes, your gaze, as far to the left as possible. Come back to center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Roll that left shoulder back. Push on your sacrum to give you a little deeper stretch. And then take your gaze and look at 9 o'clock. As hard as you can. This is a nice way to calm the vagus nerve. Come back to center. Release that arm down. We're going to rotate the shoulder. So we're reaching forward first up to the sky and behind you. And hold. And keep looking towards that back hand. Release down, another one. Reaching forward, reach up and back. And look at that back hand. And hold the gaze as best as you can. One more time. Release down, come up and back and hold. Great, release down. You can take the block off to the side if you have one. Come high onto your fingers and then lift your back knee and stretch. And then release that knee back down. Both hands to the right to lift your back foot, your front foot actually, and bring it back to meet the other. Come on to hands and knees again. And let's do cat-cow. Inhale, drop in the belly, looking forward. Exhale, round into cat. Push the foot away. Inhale for cow, lifting the tailbone, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round chin to chest. Lengthen the tailbone as you push the floor away. One more time. Inhale, looking forward. Cow. Exhale, round chin to chest. Cat. Coming back to center. Walk your hands forward, about two hand prints. And spread those fingers apart. Rest those fingers down. Press on the base of your thumb and your first finger. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees. Shift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Pedal your feet here. Take some long deep breaths. Shake out the head if you need to. And then bend your knees. Walk your hands back towards your feet, or your hands towards your feet towards your hands. Inhale, you're going to slide your fingers to the shin area, squeeze the shoulder blades for a halfway lift. Exhale, fold over your legs and shake out your head. You can always bend your knees, shake it out. Arms out to a T. Come up with a flat back as you come to standing and extend the arms up overhead, reaching tall. Exhale, release down. Right into another half sun salutation. So extend those arms up to the ceiling and reach. Exhale, hinge at your hips as you fold. Shake out the head when you get there. 
Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips onto the shins or the thighs. Exhale, fold over your legs and shake out your head. Arms out to a T, come on up and extend the arms up to the ceiling, reaching tall. Exhale, release back down. Taking your hands onto your hips, thumbs on the sacrum. You want to engage your thigh muscles by lifting your kneecaps. And then squeeze those shoulder blades together. And then push those hips forward as you start to bring your gaze up towards the ceiling for a baby back bend. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and keep breathing. On your next exhale, fold over your waist side. Folding over your legs, release the arms and the head and shake it out or go side to side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, shake it out. Arms out to a T, come up with a flat back as you extend the arms up overhead and reach top. Exhale, release your arms down, hands onto your hips, thumbs on the sacrum. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, lift the chest, and then engage your legs. Super important for any back bends. And then push those hips forward as you look up for a baby back bend. Exhale, come up, and then fold at the wayside, releasing the arms, the head, and then sway side to side. Coming halfway up, exhale, fold, shake it out. Arms out to a T, come up with a flat back as you come up to standing and extend those arms high to the sky. Exhale, release the arms back down. Great. Let's go ahead and grab our block. If you do not have one, that's fine. I'll show you a different way of doing it. We're going to come to the long part of our mat, separate our feet, probably about four feet. Toes are pointing forward. You're going to hinge at your hips, come halfway down. Place the block right underneath your nose. If you do not have a block, then you're going to simply use your legs. Engage your legs here. The version with the block is take your right hand down onto the block left hand on your sacrum, and then twist up to the left, looking up at the ceiling. If you do not have a block, simply put your right hand on your right leg, twisting to the left, up to the ceiling. Come back to center, let's go right to the other side. Bottom hand on the block, or on your thigh, Back hand is on your sacrum and twist over to the right. Pressing down into the block or pressing down into the thigh. Twist. Come back to center another time. So bottom hand on the block, back hand on your sacrum and twist in the same direction as your back hand up to the ceiling Bottom hand is pushing away from the, on the block or on your thigh. Come back to center and go ahead and switch. Bottom hand down, back hand on the sacrum and twist up towards the ceiling, pushing onto the block or the thigh. Keep those legs nice and engaged. Come back to center. Bend your knees a little bit. Place your hands onto your hips, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and come up with a flat back. Let's go ahead and bring our feet together any way you can. Let's go ahead and remove the block, put it off to the side. We're going to do an active movement here. Separate your feet a little bit wider than your hips. So you have nice and tall. Bring the arms out to a T. We're going to twist to the left as we pick the, la the back foot up and then right to the other side. But the idea is to let your arms kind of swing for the ride. 
It's a nice opening to the entire spine. Let your eyes track the movement. You might feel a pop here and there. It's okay, but no pain. Any pain in any posture, you want to back out of it. A couple more swings. It should feel really nice onto your spine. It also engages your abdominal muscles. Come back to center and shake everything out. We're going to make a fist with the right hand. Take the left hand on top, wrap those fingers around, elbows level with the floor. Same thing, but try to keep those elbows level with the floor. Twist to the left, twist to the right. So just go back and forth. Does not matter which side you start with, just keep on moving. This gets higher up into our spine and allowing those elbows just to kind of fly backwards. Great. All right, let's go ahead and shake it out. Now we're ready to do a full sun salutation. Let's come to the back of our mat. Engage in your legs. In Tadasana. Inhale, extend the arms straight up to the ceiling, reaching tall. Exhale, hinge at your hips as you fold over your legs. Shake out your head when you get there. Slide the fingers up to the shins or the thighs. Exhale, fold over your legs. As you bend your knees deeply, plant your hands down and walk them forward as slow as you can. Once you get into a top of a push-up, hold for a moment, separate your feet so the hips width apart, lower your knees, untuck to the toes, lower onto your belly and chest. Slide those hands back to the lower ribs. Squeeze those elbows in. Looking down at your mat, go ahead and lift your upper chest for a baby cobra. Exhale, release. Table. And then shifting to a child's pose here. Shifting back, sitting onto your heels. Relax your arms and the forehead down to the mat to stretch your lower back. Coming forward, let's make our way back into a downward facing dog. Tucking those toes, lifting those hips up and back, and then pedal with your feet. Shake out the head. And bend both knees, walk your hands back. And then right into a halfway lift, so hands onto your shins or your thighs. Exhale, fold over your legs and shake it out. Arms out to a T, come up with a flat back and extend the arms up high into the sky. Exhale, release the arms back down. Let's get right down onto our buttocks. If you have a strap, cracking knees, if you have a strap, go ahead and grab that. If you don't, that's okay. Extend the legs out in front of you. And flex those feet if you do not have a strap. But if you have a strap, you're going to hook the strap right underneath your feet. That way you have to have your feet flexed. Make some handles with the strap if you have them. If not, you can just use your legs. It's easier and keeps you more honest with the strap. Helps you not to hurt yourself. So the straps, you have them in handles. Squeeze the belly in, squeeze the shoulder blades together, looking straight ahead. And then on your next exhale, hinge at your waist side as you pull on the straps. You want to try to keep your back as straight as possible. If you're using your legs, the same idea. Just pull on your legs and then be sure to either look straight at your toes or down at your knees to keep your neck long. And then slowly release and come up. You can remove the strap off to the side. Bend your knees. We're gonna lower all the way onto our back. Take your time. 
the gentle yoga. No rush here. Arms out to the side, roll right down and settle on your back with your knees bent, close your eyes. Take a couple long deep breaths here. Bring your knees into your chest, hug them close with your arms and then rock side to side to massage your back into the floor. Bringing the feet back down, feet together and knees together. Arms are going to go out to a T position, palms facing up. Go ahead and lift your hips and shift down to the left hip and let your knees drop over to the left. Relax the shoulders, close your eyes and just feel the nice stretch in the right side of the body and the lower back. Coming back to center. Neutralize your spine. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Feet together, knees together. Lift your hips, shift on to the right hip and drop both knees to the right. Relax the shoulders and close your eyes. And come back to center. And bring the knees back into your chest, hug them close and rock side to side. We're going to be going into our final resting pose in just in a moment. Bringing your feet back down, extend those legs. Let those feet flop open. Relax the arms alongside your body, palms facing up. Relax those shoulders, lift the head, and relax the head down in neutral position. Scan your entire body, looking for any areas that are holding on. Just simply tell your body to let go. This is an opportunity for the body to realign itself after practicing yoga. Be here for a few more moments and enjoy. Start to wiggle the toes and the fingers. Extend the arms overhead and give yourself a whole body stretch to stretch out through your fingers, your toes, even your belly. Create as much length as possible. And then bring your arms down. Bend your knees. Let's go ahead and roll on to our right side. Using your left arm as, a, as you're pushing into your left arm or hand to help you come up to a comfortable or very easy seat, Sukhasana. Once you get there, sitting up nice and tall. Relaxing those shoulders down, relaxing the hands down. Go ahead and close your eyes, sway side to side, and then rest to center. Right hand on your heart center, left hand on top. Let's take a moment to honor the heart center where we hold the compassion for ourselves and others. Hands into prayer. Come bow to yourself to seal your practice. Coming on up. Namaste.